Welcome to the March 2019 layout update for the Monument City Terminal Division. In this video, we'll look at the operations that are possible with the trackage that's already in place on the layout. We start with a train full of auto parts waiting to approach Penn Mary Yard. The lead engine is stopped short of the South Newkirk Street grade crossing, waiting for permission from the Yardmaster. With permission granted, the engineer starts his approach to Penn Mary Yard. In addition to South Newkirk Street, the engineer must signal for the Hollibird Avenue grade crossing. The crew decouples from the train, leaving the consist just shy of the Hollibird Avenue crossing. This structure represents the Penn Mary Yard Office and is being kitbashed to closely match the prototype using pike stuff walls, styrene, and 3D printed parts. The crew runs around the train, using the Canton Railroad lead to get back to the rear. The area in the back corner is a large loop representing consolidated coal in Baltimore. The track is powered and connected to an auto reverser, but it doesn't have a usable lead track yet. That's because this small section of track beyond the turnouts, which provides just enough room for the engines to run around, is currently the end of the layout. This caboose and locomotive set still needs weathering. About 60% of the equipment in this video is weathered, and eventually everything, including structures and vehicles, will have some level of weathering. All engines and rolling stock will be outfitted with KD couplers, and all freight cars and cabooses will get metal wheels. Returning to the operations, the crew shoves the train into track two of the Penn Mary Yard. This train is destined for the auto assembly plant and is mostly auto parts. The cars have already been blocked to expedite delivery. The last 50 foot boxcar won't fit in track two, so it's spotted on track one with two other cars previously delivered for the assembly plant. The caboose is then dropped in the caboose track so work can be performed. The layout is set in July 1984, so cabooses are still the norm. The auto rack yard has a capacity of 16 cars total, four cars on each of the four tracks. Today, the crew has eight loaded auto racks to pick up. After recoupling the caboose, the train heads back to Bayview Yard. These automobiles will then be shipped throughout the USA. This not yet finished scratch built structure represents the GM Broning Highway Assembly Plant in Baltimore. General Motors had an assembly plant in Baltimore for over 60 years. The railroad switches the plant between shifts. All the empties are pulled at one time. This is referred to as the grand pull.
The cars are pulled in track order. GM Track 1 is in the front. GM Track 5 is in the rear. On the prototype, like in the operating session, this work was performed between shifts at the plant to increase safety, but it did mean the railroad crew was on a tight schedule. With the pickups complete, the crew returns to the yard and shoves most of the empties into yard track three. However, all the cars won't fit in track three. And with cars already waiting on tracks one and two for delivery, the crew decides to switch with the empties coupled to the engines. The crew picks up the three stragglers on track one. The crew now delivers the new loads in reverse order of the pickups, GM Track 5 through GM Track 1. GM Track 5 is the longest in the plant, with space for three 86-foot boxcars. My research indicates that when it came to 86-foot boxcars, GM preferred the 8-door version instead of the more common 4-door variety. GM tracks three and four are for 60-foot boxcars. Each track can hold three cars. Both the 60-foot and 86-foot cars were designed to carry bulky but relatively light items. These cars will all have been outfitted with specialized racks, each designed for the specific type of parts they were intended to carry. Use of these racks made it easy for forklifts to empty the boxcars and ensure the parts got to the right area of the plant quickly. These boxcars and the gondola car arrived at the yard at different times. They're not blocked correctly and require additional moves. 
GM Track 1 is for tank cars of various liquids and gondolas for scrap metal loading. GM Track 2 is for 50-foot box cars carrying items such as windshields and other heavier freight. With deliveries complete, the crew returns to the yard. The crew will drop the remaining cars in yard track one. These cars will go out with the next outbound train. The yard engines will uncouple, then tie down out of the way. Meanwhile, a train of empty auto racks is brought in to be loaded. The road engines have already run around the train and are shoving behind the caboose. The caboose is tucked into the yard before the crew collects the outbound auto parts train. Cars are picked up from track one, then from track three. The crew reverses one last time to couple to the caboose. Their work complete, the road crew takes their train back up the subdivision. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe. And when you do, select the bell icon to get update notifications.